off and racing in the Monday opener. It was a bit of a slow start for your favorite Seaver at 2-5. She broke at the back of the pack. It is Fancy Scepter who takes them by the finish line for the first time. The Furminator, Island Bell, those two with some speed. And on the rail is Heartlight. Then tracking in fifth is Milwaukee Bay. And Seaver is your early trailer as they make their way into the turn. Fancy Scepter in the two path. She has about a length and a half over a wall of three horses. Island Bell to the outside. She's now moved up into second in between horses. The Furminator in on the rail now in fourth is Heartlight. Then back to Milwaukee Bay. And Seaver is your early trailer. Just about six and a half, seven lengths covers this field tip to tail as they make their way down the back stretch. The opening quarter, 24 and 1. Fancy Scepter under a tight hold from Sylvester Gonzalez. She has a length over Island Bell, who's tracking in second. In on the rail, the Furminator, followed by Heartlight. Positions remain largely unchanged, but Seaver, your favorite, she has now moved up into fifth. And now Milwaukee Bay is your trailer as they make their way down. Down the backstretch, it is Fancy Scepter maintaining that one length advantage over Island Bell, who's keeping her close company up in that top flight. Then Seaver has now moved up. She's into fourth. She is trying to get into gear, making up some ground with every stride as the half went in 49 flat. She's now up into third. In fourth is the Furminator, followed by Milwaukee Bay, who's beginning to get in gear from the back, and Heartlight has now dropped back. Fancy Scepter has led every step of the way, taking them through the final turn. Island Bell continuing to put pressure onto the outside. Seaver is now making her run up the rail. Then it's Milwaukee Bay in fourth. She's beginning to make up a little bit of ground. Heartlight being asked to pick up some pieces. And the Furminators also drop back at the top of the stretch. It is anyone's race. And Milwaukee Bay has absolutely nowhere to go but behind horses. Fancy Scepter is hanging tough. Here comes Heartlight down the center of the track. Seaver needs to do a little bit better. Island Bell also in it. Milwaukee Bay has some clear sailing. They all have to get to Fancy Scepter. She is trying to keep them at bay. On the outside, Heartlight, Island, Bell, Milwaukee Bay, and it's Milwaukee Bay who takes command. Milwaukee Bay gets the win over Heartlight, Fancy Scepter third, and Seaver finished fourth. Final time of 147 and four. Hold all tickets until race one is official.